Greetings and welcome to Hidden Through Time. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, huge thank you to Crazy Monkey Studios for giving me a key to play this game. I thought it was absolutely adorable when I saw it, and it's very much um, like a Where's Waldo kind of adventure thing. Uh, obviously, with animation, it's kind of a modern version of things. And this game has a number of really cool features. There's the story mode, which we're going to explore today. Uh, we have the map editor in which you can create your own little scenes um, for people to work with and then online mode where you can share those creations with others I've downloaded a couple of maps and it's like okay that's pretty cool so anyway I'm hoping to show you a variety of things here so let's just get started all right so uh, there's a reason this game is called hidden through time because we have different time periods we're gonna start off in the Stone Age as you see I've not played any of this I wanted to explore this all with you we have different numbers of things to find we have Egypt um, and then going building pyramids as we can see and then moving on to the Middle Ages and after that we have a Western and what is after that okay that is the end and um, so anyway we'll go ahead and press the play button and see what oh oh t-rex attack this looks a bit dangerous so these are the items we need to find it's a bad idea to leave a meat outside <laughs> this reminds me of like going to national parks and like they have these signs like don't leave food in your car or uh, you always have to put it in these like bear proof boxes um, clearly the people are kind of unhappy about this situation and <laughs> they're like terrified and she's like no no you're not getting my food she's like almost going in front of it like a soccer goalie nope you're not getting here because she clearly doesn't see this t-rex behind <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so we have a drumstick that we need to find here. Oh, it's right there, I think. So there we go. Um, we have a leaf, a branch thing. Oh, there it is, like a spear almost. Oh, yes, and we can open up the buildings. Oh, is that why the dinosaurs are so unhappy? They've stolen their eggs. Ay, okay. So we have, yeah, maybe that's why he's so hangry. There Hangry? Angry? Something. <laughs> okay, so we have, uh, we found all the objectives. We can stay and check this out for a look at the next level. Let's go. I'm really enjoying the story that each of these places um, provides. Obviously, we can zoom in and out as we like. Okay, so what have we got going on here? Looks like we have some people out in the wilderness. They're trying to maybe attack this, uh, this critter over here. It's kind of like a werewolf fox kind of wild boar thing it's kind of crazy interesting we've got some small traps for smaller animals uh maybe this like a mouse over here the hunters are outside i can finally make my escape Ooh, maybe they're in a hut um and then we have okay i got the fruit but where's my knife i want to see if these relate to any of um stuff that's going on here and then we have it was pretty hard to cut wood with this, so it was a, like a primitive axe. Uh, and then we have an arrow. Oh no, someone killed the tree! Oh god, I have to find that one first. I want to see if this arrow is stuck in a tree anywhere. Oh, and we have some sound effects. Hello, trees! Oh, that's nice. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, there's the hatchet. Okay, we found that. That's good. Oh no, someone killed the tree. Do we see it anywhere? So now these, we can't move them around and we can't like uh, rotate. This is not like a 3D environment. Oh, there's the, there's the fruit thing. Okay, so there they have the fruit and was somebody like looking for the fruit? Could they not peel their grapes? I mean, those are not grapevines, but hey, uh, that's rough if they died like waiting for their knife and it was right in front of them all along, rough times. All right. Um. Let's see, someone killed the tree, and then we have the mouse. Let's look at this mouse. Okay, I don't think it's in this house. This guy seems very active. The rest of them are almost like dancing. I'm not sure what's going on with them. <laughs> oh, there's the mouse, hello. Squeaky squeak. Okay, all uh, right. And then this guy is like, yo, I just made my bed. Now I can dance. Yeah, he's having a karaoke party in there. Fun times. All right, um, gosh. Someone killed the tree. Okay, and I think there are hints, maybe? Not sure if there are actual hints or if that's just the hint that we get. Uh, might be the hint that we get. 
Let's see. Yeah, because I'm clicking on it and it's like, no, no, KOS, you don't get any help. <gasps> there it is. We don't need help. They did kill the tree. The tree is actually dead. See? No, no, no green. There we go. Boom. You have found all the objectives. All right, next level. Whoa, gathering. Hey, party time. Okay, so each of our scenes is getting bigger and bigger. Looks like we have like a Diplodocus over here. Dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Got these wild animals over here. Like somebody fed them food. All right, what do we need to find here? Oh, this is great. Look at them all <laughs> interacting. This is crazy. We have, oh, he's jealous of the others. Oh, yeah, that's him. He's looking on. Check that out. Okay. Who else do we have? Why did you bring weapons? This is a peaceful gathering. Okay, so this guy has got a, a knife. <laughs> He's looking out to murder somebody or maybe, oh, no. Oh, he is. I was going to say murder some food maybe, but no, he's going to get this, this red haired guy. Poor thing. Um, we have another, oh, simple cooking tool. It's not a dagger anymore or a, uh, a, a great peeler. <laughs> we have a snail. He really likes fruit. Okay, um, he's great at blending in with the bushes, so we might find him out in the wilderness somewhere. Um, what else? We have a gift to the war chief. Okay, so we might find that in town somewhere. Um, I beg you, big giant, please don't crush me. Hello? Is that like a moon moon? Or a rhinoceros horn or something? Hmm. And then we have, he's not at the party, but maybe he's planning something. So he could be out maybe in the wilderness or in a tent, possibly. And then we have a bird. My father was a stonemason and his father before him. That bird does look a bit stiff, I have to admit. Maybe it's a statue. Okay, so we have, first of all, I'm looking at the posture of this guy and he's facing to the right. Let's see if he's in any of these tents here. And we're also looking for that cooking tool. There's food over here. Okay, we are looking. There's some stonemasonry going on here. Oh, there's bird. Hello. Hey there. That's nice. I do like these hints. This is great. So we have, there's some tribal dancing going on in this room here. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um... In there? No. no. No, not there either. They're trying to cook. Okay, so there's a fire here, but it doesn't look like the... Oh, there it is. Cooking tool right there. All right, let's open up these tents. See if there's anybody in here. There's a thingy majingy, but that's not quite the same. It's a little bit less detailed. That skull. I like this, like, decorative thing here. They definitely have a motif. Okay, so here's the... Oh, uh -huh. oh, they talk. Hello. <laughs> Did he say dub 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 polka dots? Huh? No, no, no. I mistook him. <laughs> These people. That's so funny. I do like this. It's quite amusing. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can find some other stuff here. Okay, so this guy, what did he, he's not at the party, but maybe he's planning something. Okay, so we, we have opened all of these. We have one more here. Oh, there he is. Hello. All right, we found him. So looks like there's some offering things over here. Some different structures of stuff on them. But I wonder, this thing, a gift to the war chief. Uh... It's probably in the party zone somewhere. Maybe. I'm wonder I'm like looking for like an offering plate. There it is. That's a weird place to put a gift. Hey. Okay, so he really likes fruit. And then this is great at blending in with bushes. So we're gonna look at bushes and fruit. And then I beg you, big giant, please don't crush me. There. Oh, right there. Okay, so next to the giant. Dinosaurs. Okay, so fruit. We're looking for a snail next to the fruit here. We'll close these guys back up, these tents. There we go. So it's less distracting. There's a... Oh, there it is. There's the snail. All right, he's great at blending in with the bushes. 
Okay, so he's probably somewhere very sneaky. <gasps> That's an interesting thing. <laughs> that that lizard sounds like duct tape. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Hey, we found him. All right, next level. Yay. Well then, Rock Expo. Hey, of course they had conventions back then. Look at this. This is great. Ah, oh, everything to do with rocks. Oh, we've got a pterodactyl waving their wings and very interesting dinosaurs. I wonder if those are legit. They look quite, quite cool. And then we've got little stegosaurus over here. I like this one. Like showing off, we can walk sideways. And then this is like a craft fair. They're like show. Oh, no, maybe that's snacks. Oh, no, they're bowling. There, it's a bowling alley. That's what that is. I would wonder how these balls roll, though. <laughs> oh, I prefer to train at home. Okay, there's one of these somewhere at home. I just want to look at all the details so we don't miss them first here. Here we have painting. It's like Bob Ross of his day, probably. And we got some people around these huts. We'll investigate the huts later. Um... Looks like we have some people. These are like rock storage units. Okay. And these guys are just chipping down the rocks. Maybe just mining out in the wilderness here. It's probably like a great place to come for all these blue rocks. Blue stones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then these people are holding different uh, seminars, obviously. We have a, a, a diagram here. Snails make round rocks, and these make square rocks, apparently. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Or maybe... I don't know. Because I don't understand this. Because I would think that, like, if you have round rocks like a wheel here, then it would roll faster. But this one is, is with a... I don't know. Okay, so this is making square rocks, triangular rocks, like trees. And these are round like eggs. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and here's a cart with... <laughs> yes, it's card with square wheels. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so funny. I, I'm highly entertained by this. You can clearly create a lot of cool stories in this game. This is so funny. Okay, so what are we looking for? We have, there's a traitor among us. I wonder why he's a traitor. Jeez. Okay, we'll find out maybe, hopefully. Um, looks like all these people are into their various things. Like, all these guys have the same haircut. These two and these two. Uh, alright. So then we have... Does this look like a rock to you? Maybe it's in a cart where people are mistaking. I don't know. These rocks are my home. Don't touch them! Okay. Dinosaur. Can we find that dinosaur real quick? Oh no. We have many, many things to look at. Okay. It'll be fine. Um, then we have... I just need more food than just a banana. Okay, maybe that's here. Like where, yeah, there it is, a banana right there. Okay, and then what is this? So have you always been as brilliant as a diamond? Hmm, okay. Need to figure that one out as well. I prefer to train at home. These might be in the huts. Oh, look at there's the, the, the pin in here, yay. Okay, good, good. All right. That's fine. And then we need this thing. That looks more diamondy to me, to be honest, but you never can tell. Okay, so who's this? Why could the chicken cross the road and I can't? Hmm. Does that person have to do with the, the cart? No, I guess not. Oh, boy. Is that... No, not you. Okay, we'll have to look for this sort of um, long dress and hair with many sticks in it or bones in it once the statue is once the stone is carved it will reveal a beautiful piece of art okay so we need to see a stone carving venue here i like the music for this game too it's a very chill okay so here's our stone carving area oh there's the the, the fruit thing okay Let's see if any of our people are here. The yellow dress person, and then we have this uh, person with the loincloth looking to the left. Okay. I wonder if any of the people are like really mobile. 
like walking around mobile. <laughs> oh dear. I'll have to catch up with them then. Okay, what else have we got here? We have the egg doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay, must be a bird in a tree. Um, laying eggs. Nice summer igloo. Do we see a house? That, oh, here's a here's a an igloo isk uh, esk 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 could be isk or esk uh, depending on what country you're from. Um, ish shape of an igloo. Maybe it's elsewhere though. Oh 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 oh! Look at this right there. Oh, so it's asking. Ah, oh, it's trying to romance this cluster. Like, hey, hey, baby, you are sparkling. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> now this is funny because this is this dinosaur, I think. And we obviously, we can't see the, the legs, which are very stick-like. I was looking for those, but nope, they aren't showing. So let's see. We have somebody who's a traitor. I want to look for the people next. All right, so we need, I think, lady in a yellow dress and then guy in loincloth, red loincloth, looking to the left. Well, here's a guy. Ogoda Pogoda. No, he's bald, though, on top. Okay. So... Oh, there he is! Oh! That's why he's a traitor! Oh, no! He's gone to the square wheeled carts, people! He's supposed to be here with the round persons. Oh, whoa, rough times. Okay, so what's wrong with her again? Why could the chicken cross the road and I can't? Is there a roadblock or something? Let's see. Oh, here you are. Okay. Um, I don't know why they can't cross the road. This is clearly the road here. And they're little paving stones to like say, okay, this is our designated spot, but I don't know why they, she's not happy with crossing. That's weird. Okay. Um, let's see. We have, once the stone is carved, it will reveal a beautiful piece of art. Yes. Now that one might be here somewhere in Somewhereville. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh my God. You can click. Oh. Oh my god, I had no idea it could be this interactive. Look at this. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so we get to carve it ourselves. Oh, that's neat. And everybody, we're helping everybody. Oh, this is great. Okay, what else does everybody have? Oh, a tree. Okay. And some, like, dice or cubicle things. Oh, hello, lady. Another tree. You've got a tiny dinosaur. This is almost like a Mickey Mouse hand over there. Oh, no, no. I find this very funny. <laughs> they carved a square. <laughs> and this one carved a cell phone. How nice. <laughs> oh dear. That's so cool. Do these get carved? They do. Oh my god. Okay, you can carve them all. Oh, that's nice. What about these? Okay, so these are not carvable. They just ting, ting, ting. Oh, there's a, an extra ting over there. Uh, okay, so the egg doesn't fall far from the tree. And then summer igloo all right so egg near a tree geez there's so many trees out here uh, oh oh this is a person with an egg hey not a well a pterodactyl with an egg nice okay and so then this one we need to find a an igloo okay to figure that one out let's see where is this igloo place Summer igloo. These are not igloos. That woman is very angry. <laughs> Close her hut back up. Go away. Shoo. This kind of looks like an igloo is esque ish 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 is the word we want to use today. Uh, but I don't see a beetle, even though it would really blend in with the coloring there and stuff. Um. Let's see. Let's go this way. Maybe it's in the middle. I don't see it in this enclosure. Here. Oh, oh, she's angry. She's angry. Okay, stay away. Stay away. Let's see, from far away, I don't see anything that looks like an igloo. I wonder why. 
summer igloo. You know, I, I have to admit I'm looking for rocky things, but maybe it's not a rocky thing. Maybe it's like a wooden structure. Nice summer igloo. Okay, let's just kind of like scan the area for anything that looks like an igloo. I know what looks like an igloo. It's right there. I hope that I haven't missed this beetle somewhere. Um, a summer igloo might be made out of other things. Look at this. They're not having big be best of luck with this square bowling ball. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not a thing. Not a thing that actually works. Unless they're talking about this general area of igloo-ness. Um, let's just open them up again. So I don't see that bug on the, outs on the outside of the houses. Is it on the inside? It looks very cute. Doesn't look like the bug is painting at all. So an igloo is a home, unless they mean like sort of an ice pile or something. Unless there's a tiny, tiny one here somewhere that we haven't actually seen yet, which could be likely. Um, let's see. like looking for this thing. Hello. Where are you, thingy majingy? Where are you? Hmm. Unless it's a drawing of an igloo? Not quite sure what this is about. Like, is this a triangular trees or something? This is such a funny thing. They're all like fighting over whose ideas are best. Unless it's a carving that I missed. I'm gonna just look at all the tiny bits of debris on the ground here. There's one of those knives. If only that was part of our, our mission to find. Oh no. Let's see. Nice summer igloo. Hmm. We must find the summer igloo, wherever it might be. These are cute animals, though. I like them. They're like, sort of stamping in space. You can imagine them, like, kind of snorting as well. Having the whole snort thing going. But I do like the music. It's quite peaceful and relaxing. It's very, very nice. And for everyone who has inquired, uh, thank you so very much for your good wishes. My hands are still not better. Um, but this game has very little impact on my hands, so I am I'm able to play it. So um, I do want to... Uh, I still keep coming back to this place. It's the only thing in the world here that looks like an igloo. Help! Oh, it's inside! I didn't even think- I thought it was like a little- a little furnace or something. I didn't realize it could be inside. Okay, let's go to, um... You know what? I think we're gonna go to the main menu because I want to show you some of the other features of this game. Um, yeah. So let's go and look at the map editor real quick. Just do like a new map. And basically you can use any kind of decorations you want. Choose a time period here, like if we go Western or let's go medieval because we haven't seen anything medieval. And you can see, you can place down houses, um, you know, just put them anywhere you want, little stands for drinks, and then line them up and, um, and rotate them as well. Not quite sure, no, I don't know if you can rotate them. Probably you can. Oh dear, I now feel embarrassed because I don't know how to rotate them. Let's see, options. Let's see if it gives us... Ah, key binds. Here we go. Flip, F, undo, redo. Nice. Standard ones there. Delete. 
copy paste direct copy paste and save map we have zoom um, and then selecting and deselecting oh so, so f is for flip all right so that's great we can do a roundhouse here oh you can also use wasd to move around the place okay and then let's get this f to flip that we can have like two roundhouses next to each other and let's see what else we have here many many drink stands we have some throne room towers walls and there's a search uh, bar as well so let's see we have structures and then we have small props all these other little bits and pieces bananas and basins all kinds of different things here and then there's medium stuff. Wow, there's all kinds of things. We'll just have those there. And a barrel of stuff there. And then you can also choose layers, like uh, to choose um, what's gonna go in front of what. And I assume that you can also get into the houses and, and kind of put stuff in there as well. Let's see what else we have. Characters, we've got archers and goblins. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, hey, <laughs> look at that. Oh, that's so cute. They're like, help, help. I can't move. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's better. I have ground underneath me now. Oh, okay. So we have all kinds of goblins here that we could add. Animals. Oh, this is great. Let's flip you. Put you there. Nice. We've got, oh, oh my God. We have giraffes. <laughs> I was going to say, no, we didn't have giraffes in the middle evil period, nor did we have flamingos. <clears throat> Those are only in modern day times. Clearly. Uh, yes. So anyway, there are animals. There are all kinds of things. And then um, there is a way. I'm not quite sure how to do this. I looked at this before I um, I started and I have completely forgotten where um, I need to put things. But there is a thing called objectives here. Where are they? Unless you just click them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Make objective. And then you can set a hint say yes and this um uh i hang out by the pub so you can set those as an objective and uh, then you have a list of objectives somewhere i believe oh and then you can change background color as well that's nice if you want a, a desert scene or more of a a green scene but anyway it's a really cool kind of a thing here um, where you can just make your own levels and do them in different themes as you like so I'm just gonna get out of here for now and yep we yep we want to return yes and then um, once you're done with that you can upload them online where there are um, other people's creations you can share yours and I found a couple that were quite funny. This one, Little Yarnum, which is a Dark Souls reference. I, I find this highly amusing here. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, I was like, huh? I played a couple. I was looking around at this. But this is very like, all oh, these crypts here and dangerous doggies. And here we have the monk, which I think probably represents the player. But we even have a bonfire here and, uh, and stuff and little altars and stuff. I found this highly, highly amusing. Um, and it's just a very small scene, but very, very much... Um, I don't know. It tells a story. It tells a story. And for anyone who likes those kinds of um, references, they are there. Uh, to download a map, all you need to do is click the little download icon there. Uh, and I did download another one. Duck Farm. This one is, is very, very silly looking. <laughs> all right. Let's look at the Duck Farm. So Duck Farm is here. Many, many, many ducks. Many ducks. But in amongst these ducks are things that kind of look like ducks, but are clearly not ducks. Ding! We found one of the things right there. This is a gold nugget, not a duck. Yeah, so <laughs> two completely different ways you can build a level. So anyway, if you like creating, if you like doing stuff, uh, there it is. So anyway, I think that will do it for this episode. Thank you again for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.